Hi guys, it's Brooklyn and welcome to the channel. Today's video is going to be my everyday full makeup routine. So it's like a nice soft glam makeup look, perfect for everyday, but still a bit more of an effort put in. So it's different from my quick makeup routine. A bit more amped up, a bit more out there, but not nighttime appropriate, daytime appropriate. So yeah, it's the best of both worlds. So let's get started. I'm starting out with my Primark PS Watermelon Priming Spray. This is a limited edition, so I don't think you can get it anymore. I'm sorry about that, but do you have the regular priming spray? And if you can't find that, other companies do do priming and setting spray. So yes, taking my BB Illuminating Cream by Dry Cosmetics in the shade Grace, applying that all over my face using my fingers as a primer before my foundation. I prefer the way you look on me, I like to look luminous and I'm going to be going in with my Revolution Concealing and Define Foundation in the shade F.5 F8.5 sorry It's my kind of lighter tan skin shade so my tan is fading off in this video so I'm in between colours so I'm using lighter tanned foundation shade basically and this foundation is really really good It's £9, it's a really affordable foundation but it's full coverage and just blends out really well. I'm using my B Beauty Sponge just to blend it out. And this sponge is amazing and it's like £5. So yeah, bargain. Making sure to blend it into the hairline too. That's one tip if you've got like fake tan on and your hair is slightly darker. Even if it's blonder, like whatever colour your hair is. Always make sure you blend in your foundation to your hairline. So you don't get that big mark, that big tight mark which I hate. So I like to just take my fingers after I've blended my foundation in and just blended it into the hairline. Taking my concealer and define by the same brand, Revolution Concealer in the shade F.5. This is running out, that's why it's like not really much coming out. I'm just applying it underneath the eyes mainly, but also the centre of the face, like the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, the centre of my forehead and also on my chin. Taking the same sponge to blend out, but I'm using the pointy side to blend out the under eye area, also the eyelids too. Don't forget the eyelids, it's a good prep for eyeshadow. I meant to say C0.5, the shade of that concealer is, and sorry my voice came across as really croaky, I hope I'm not becoming sick or something. <laughs> and I'm just obviously further blending that in, making sure to blend it in. Taking my Revolution baking powder in the shade Banana and my blank canvas F28 setting brush, I'm applying the powder underneath the eyes and the eyelids and also the centre of the face with this brush. It is the best brush for under eye setting, basically. It's better than that Primark brush I was using for ages, for years before this one. It's just nice, fine, but not too fine, not too thick, but it just... It gets in everywhere and it just sets down so well and it applies a perfect amount of powder. I'm taking my Elson's powder brush too before I get carried away and talking about how much I love that brush. But this brush is quite good too. I'm just making sure I set it all over my face, like just make sure my face is set down with that powder. Also don't forget the neck area. Taking my Revolution X Rachel Leary Ultimate Goddess Pal, I'm taking the contour shades Bronze and Indulge on my Elson's Angled Contour Brush. Contour my face, the sides of my forehead, the jawline, the cheekbone area, basically everywhere you contour. Obviously I never do my nose because I don't need to but I'm just making sure my face looks snatched and contoured. Obviously I'm not going too heavy because it is still an everyday look but I'm building up the product. Taking the Perfect Peach Blush on my Unicorn Blush Brush, I'm applying a small amount on the left of my cheeks and blend it out. In the Shimmery Bronzer, which is called Bronze Glow, on my Brown Minerals Flawless Face Brush, I'm bronzing the sides of my forehead, cheekbones, and also a little bit on the chin just to kind of give me a more luminous bronzy glow. Taking the Ultimate Goddess Gold Highlighter on the Unicorn Domed Highlighting Brush, 
I'm a plan of double cheekbones, the bridge of my nose and the cupid's bow. I like to put a good amount on because I like to glow loads. I love a good blend and highlight. I'm taking the Revolution Pro Auburn Brow Pencil. It's a micro pencil so it's a really really thin pencil. I'm just going to lightly fill in my eyebrows and I'm going to create more of a higher arch because I like to kind of have that illusion that my eyebrows are high arched. I love the look of a thin tapered high arched brow. I just think it suits my face shape and my eye shape much better and my personality and style too compared to a straight thick eyebrow. That does not look good on me, so I like to have a thin, tapered eyebrow. Taking my Benefit Give Me Brow in the shade 5, I'm going to set my eyebrows and darken them up a little bit, just because I find the uh, auburn shade is a nice shade from red hair, but it is very light, and I do need to get a new Give Me Brow because this one is weighted and dried out. So, yeah. And I know I have my tag hanging out of my top, but I don't care. I'm putting this video up anyway, I'm not going to refilm it just for a tag. <laughs> Taking my Benefit Highbrow, I'm going to put this underneath the eyebrows to clean them up and make them look sharper and more highlighted and lifted. Going into the shade Bronze, I'm taking it on my Jessup's Big Round crease brush. I'm just applying it into the crease and also blending it out. This look is meant to be an easy kind of two brush makeup look so it's very kind of good for lazy people. I'm squashing the brush and I plant some lash shadow underneath my eyes just to create that kind of even opened eye look just so it isn't so heavy on top and light underneath. And then I'm going under the shade Indulge and doing the same steps but slightly lower than Bronze and also underneath too so just to create like a slightly smokyish but more kind of like subtle brown look. Taking the shade Bronze Glow with that same Jessup's brush and the Plana all over the lid, I told you it's for lazy people. Mixing the Geller Glazed and Ultima Goddess on a flap of fluffy blending brush on the brow bones and the inner corners, also the little eyelids just to create more of that opened eye look. Taking the J Cap Beauty liquid liner pen in the shade black, I'm doing a line on my upper lash line and creating the wing. It all depends on the day what I do, usually I would for an outdoor daytime look I would do the eyeliner. Sometimes it's a pencil eyeliner, sometimes both the pencil and the liquid and sometimes nothing, just the eyeshadow and sometimes just basically nothing, just mascara. It all just depends what I'm feeling and how much time I have to get ready. So yeah, it's just up to interpretation. Then I'm taking my Benefit Rule Lash Mascara and applying a coat, the two coats of that under my eyelashes. Yes, I know, shoot me, I have lash extensions on but they're starting to kind of become sparse so I'm putting mascara on. Usually when they're freshly done, I don't bother or just put a tiny bit under my lower lash line, basically my lower lashes. But because they're starting to become sparse, I'm putting some on just to create more of an open eye look because I do have hooded deep set eyes, so I need to have some help. Taking my Maybelline Super Liner Lip Liner, it's basically a nudie brown shape, but I don't know what the shade is, I'm sorry, but any kind of nudie brown will do. And it all depends, as I said before, what lip colour I do as well. But I'm just lining my lips over over linen, over lining my top lip and also just lining my bottom lip as normal because I want to create more of a fuller appearance, especially on the top lip. And this pencil is an okay pencil. I do prefer a dry cosmetics nude pencil, but this one is decent enough and I'm trying to use it up and it's what what I basically use on the daily because I'm trying to keep a good one good. I'm taking my next lace detail liquid lipstick, the laundry version of it, like they have different versions of liquid lipsticks and this is basically a plan it just onto my lips and also where I've overdrew them and then I'm taking my Lorac Angel lip gloss on top, a perfect combination, I just love it, it looks amazing and makes my lips look even fuller than what they actually are in real life which is what I want. 
So here's the finished look, a nice, easy, soft glam everyday film makeup routine, perfect for like an everyday look, but more of an outdoor everyday look. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again in my next one. Stay gorgeous. Bye.